Hello guys. Welcome back again to the Emmy Facts TV YouTube channel. Hope all of you guys are fine. Please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for more psychological facts. Today we will know about 100 historical facts they don't teach you in school. Part 2. 11. The British government collected postcards for information about the D-Day landing operations. Since 1942, the BBC has publicly solicited postcards and photographs of the coasts of mainland Europe, from Norway to the Pyrenees. This is an information-gathering exercise. Started by Lieutenant Frederick Morgan, he is searching for the most difficult beach to defend. Postcards were sent to the War Office and were part of the decision to choose Normandy as the final D-Day landing site. 12. When Marcus Crosses died, molten gold was poured down his throat. Marcus Licinius Crossas was known as the richest man in Rome during his lifetime. The son of the Roman consul, Crassus, fought in the civil war in Sulla, defeated Spartacus, played a key role in ending the Third Servile War, and won his first victory with Julius Caesar and King Pompey. Wise man, through all he did, Crassus accumulated more and more wealth and it was his thirst for wealth that would eventually lead to his downfall. Leading his army in the unfortunate conquest of the Parthians, modern Iran, Crassus and his army were repeatedly brutalized and defeated by the Parthians. 13. In ancient Greece, wearing skirts was very masculine. In fact, the ancient Greeks would consider trousers ugly and mock those who wore them. Please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for more psychological facts. 14. Singing birthday greeting cards have more computer power than the entire Allied forces during World War II. Hitler, Churchill, Stalin and Roosevelt must kill one of those cards. The computer chips in them were so powerful that it was impossible for us to imagine how we simply threw them away compared to the leaders of the time. 15. The Luftwaffe has a master cross-checker who has the best possible tactics. Hans Schaff is a senior assessor who strongly opposes torture and physical brutality. His technique was so successful that the US military later incorporated his method into their own field of cross-examination. Scarf's best tactics for gathering information from inmates were walking in unguarded nature, baking homemade treats, pranks, drinking beer, and afternoons with German gladiator ace. There are teas, etc. He even visits pows and pool parties. In rare cases, we also conduct test flights of German fighters. 16. In ancient Asia, the death penalty by elephant was a common form of execution. Elephants turned out to be so intelligent and trainable that they were as easy to train as executioners and torturers. They can be taught how to slowly break bones, smash skulls, twist limbs, and execute people with large blades mounted on fans. In some parts of Asia, this custom remained popular until the late 19th century. 17. Germany detects 2,000 tons of unexploded ordnance every year. During World War II, the Allies dropped about 2.7 million tons of bombs on Nazi-occupied Europe. Half of them have landed in Germany. Before starting construction work in Germany, the ground should be extensively surveyed for unexploded ordnance. Bombs can also be found naturally. An example is from 2011. 45,000 people were evacuated from their homes when a drought caused a 4,000-pound hit bomb to lie on the bottom of the Rhine in the middle of Koblenz. Please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for more psychological facts. 18. The Byzantine weapons known as Greek fire were used in flamethrowers attached to ships. The secret of how to make Greek gunpowder was lost with the collapse of the Roman Empire. This weapon is very unique and deadly because throwing water only causes a fire. It has a texture that is almost viscous and sticks to everything. The large flamethrowers required for ammunition use were mainly used in naval battles as they may be more suitable for ships than infantry. A Greek fire will easily destroy a fleet of wooden and canvas boats floating in the water. 19. An ancient text called the Voynich Manuscript still confuses scientists. The Voynich Manuscript handwritten in an unknown language, dates from 1404 to 1438. Some pages are missing, some are foldable pull-out pages, but most pages have illustrations. 
Hundreds of cryptanalysts and master cryptanalysts have tried to crack it for years, but no one has succeeded in figuring out its meaning or origin. 20. Fox Tossing was once a popular sport. In the Fox Tossing game, which was popular with European aristocrats in the 17th and 18th centuries, people or pairs throw foxes as much as possible. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for more psychological facts.